Hello everyone. As I mentioned in my last video, what we are trying to build, we are going to build chat with your PDF, which I shown just demo. Like if you pass the PDF and you can ask n number of questions regarding for this PDF. Okay. So that's a thing I'm going to explore now. Like I'm just showing you how we, we, we develop these things and uh, all the codes, all the resources, everything will be available on the description. Please watch that. And if you like this video, then please do subscribe the channel so that you will never miss the update so what we what are the techniques and tools and libraries we are going to use we are going to use the open ai and also we can use the in-house uh, language model like flaunt t5 excel base i am going to use base in base um, uh, thing and uh, because as you know like uh, the system having some limitations uh we can't run xxl because it's a very huge model i'll talk about these things in in depth but as of now just we are going to use the app open ai and with that open ai we are going to do all the sort of things and then we'll use the google flaunt t5 also and also we to read the pdf we are going to use the pi pdf library and we are also going to use the lang chain lang chain is the language chain uh library which which help you to remember many things by own like uh, what the conversation is going Going on what are the memory what are the agents like if you want to use the third party api calling the third party api langchain provide that kind of service and at the end streamlit streamlit is the library python library which help you to build a ui again it's not necessary at all to build these things. Streamlit is the open source. You can use the retool as well. Retool is another alternative solution of Streamlit, but it's a paid tool. It seems like uh, that's what I selected the Streamlit. And there is a fifth tools like Jupyter Notebook I'm going to use uh, for the research and all the sort of things, right? So let me show you the next thing, next slide. So how we are going to implementations, like as far I am thinking this problem can be solved in more better way that I can put some light how to improve the system in a better way for now as a sake of interest or uh, prototype building. Uh, it's just a prototype building. So I, I created this uh, like, uh, <clears throat> let me show you just, this is the like block diagram, how we are going to develop this part, right? So let me open this. Yeah. So how this development is going on? Uh, First of all, first and foremost, we are going to pass PDF in our application. Then from the PDF, we are going to extract the context. So here the context extraction and the PDF can be like three page, four page, five page, 10 page, 100 page, right? So the problem is that if you're going to pass the this many PDF, this much size of PDF, your any LLM will get will get exhausted and uh, your resource means that much of resource will not available and your result will not be that much of accurate right so what we are going to do we are going to come convert whole text into the splits uh like text chunk chunks you can say uh, means like 10 to 15 words or 20 words we are going to make a one chunk similar kind of let's suppose 30 paragraphs are there we are going to distribute the each text into the form of the chunk text chunk one chunk two chunk three and chunk n like this and then what we are trying to do we are going to convert this text this is the textual representation now we have to represent this text data in form of the matrix embeddings right so we are going to use the embeddings open ai embeddings we are going to use and also i will show you some open source embedding library uh, which which is going to provide by the hugging face that is also we can use uh, here to convert our text chunk chunk into the embeddings like text chunk one uh, respect to with respect to this text i'm going to create a chunk of embeddings embedding two embedding three and embedding n then we are going to when we are going to is to create a build a semantic search like as soon how it works we'll just try to understand here as soon as any question will come there is a semantic search will work and based on this embeddings, it will try to identify what embeddings is the best fit for this respective question and it will get the answer. I'll come up with that point. So it will create a build a semantic search here. So now how it works, just try to understand, it will store this semantic search into the knowledge base. Knowledge base is also called KB, means what are the information we extracted from this PDF, we are going to store inside of knowledge base. Knowledge base, you can say like a, just a type of database. Here we are going to store these things, right? So now just try to understand, we store the, here our LLM job is done. Now coming to the client side, client means user side. So user, this is user and user will ask any question 
okay what just i ask who is the author of this pdf then it this question will come and we are going to convert the again machine will only understand the embedding and numbers right so we are going to convert this question into the questions embeddings like uh, matrix representations vector representation you can say and then we are going to convert the semantic search we are here we are going to call the semantic search and this semantic search will go to the knowledge base and knowledge with whatever match of the answer will come from the knowledge base it will rank the result like many answer will get matched with this question right who is the author of this pdf it can be answered like multiple way so all the question whatever whatever matchings answer will come those answer will come here and it will ranked ranked in the sense of just try to understand here it seems like a softmax they are going to apply and with the help of the softmax they are going to do the ranking of the answer and whatever rank is the first rank then we are going to call the generative ai here llm generative ai then this answer will get generate like a paraphrase or you can say like a more heuristic paraphrasing will done and then it will pass to the user so question came it will call to the knowledge base and knowledge base may whatever answers we have here we created those answer we are going to store the here and we are going to any question is coming then calling through the semantic search and semantic search will give the answer in the form of the ranked and then generative model responsibility to paraphrase those answer it will pass to the client so this is the whole cycle of the uh, of developing these things now i will show you the all actual technical depth like how we are doing how, how we are going to do the coding of all the sort of things right hope you guys understood with this video what we are trying to build and all the sort of things if you if you and in the next video i will show you the development process of all those things and uh, yeah so stay tuned with this video playlist so that it will be helpful for you and also if you really like this video then don't forget to put a hit on the subscribe button so that never miss the update thank you